Hi all. So welcome to another video on adaptive cards. So adaptive cards gives us the option to share information in a platform agnostic way using GSM. In our previous videos, we did see how we can share basic adaptive cards into Microsoft Teams using Power Automate. In this video, we will see how we can extend the implementation by adding images to the card. Now, images can be rendered in multiple ways in the adaptive card like store it in a SharePoint document library and use the base64 image content in the card or we can use direct URL to publicly hosted files within the card. But do note that you will have to test this scenario thoroughly as not all direct links would work as expected. Direct shareable links in OneDrive, SharePoint and some of the image hosting sites don't render in the cards as expected. We can also store images in Azure storage, the blob storage basically and use the image content in the card as well. In today's video, we will see how to use an image that is stored in SharePoint document library and we will see how we can render it with an adaptive card. To get started, we will create a scheduled cloud flow. We will name it as good morning flow and repeat it every day and let's go ahead and create it. And by the time it is being created, we will just head over to our SharePoint document library and we can see that in the assets library, we have uh, uploaded a good morning banner message which is what we are going to actually pull from the library and show it as a banner or as a header for our adaptive card. So basically the intention or the use case here is on a day to day basis with the Power Automate will on a schedule run on every day. Pick this image from the document library and create an adaptive card with this good morning banner as the header for that card. Followed by that we will be appending a good morning message and send it to one of the users in the Microsoft Teams channel. Right now heading back to the Power Automate we can see that uh, the Power Automate has been created. Now the next step would be to get the file content for which we will add the get file content action so that we can pick the image from SharePoint document library. We will uh, select the SharePoint site URL followed by that we will also ensure that we are selecting the library and the image from the document library. So we have added the get file content action will, which will pick the image for us from the SharePoint library. Now in order to use we need to do one more action on top of the retrieved document or the image which is we will be converting it into a base64 format to which we will add an expression and we will use the base64 function to convert it into the base64 format. Now that we have retrieved the file content and have converted into base64 what we will do is we will now add the post adaptive card action which will let us post it to a channel or a chat so the post as option will be selected as flowboard and in the posting will be we will be selecting the chat with flowboard and we will also select a recipient whom we have to share it And we, in the adaptive card, we will post the JSON that we will be using for creating this adaptive card. And as we can see, there are mainly four attributes that are of main uh, importance. The type adaptive card shows the root of the adaptive card, followed by that you have the body, which defines the main structure for the adaptive card. And within the body, you have multiple elements that will make up the adaptive card. And you can see here there are just Two elements that is of type image and type rich text block which is forming up the adaptive card and after the body is completed you have just two more attributes that is schema and version which again defines the the entire schema of the adaptive card and also the version number of the adaptive card now as we can see within the body we have uh, one element that is the image which picks up the image content from our get file items actions and basically we have converted to base64 so we are actually defining the base64 format and giving the base64 converted content as the uh, input for the url parameter and within the rich text block we are just giving a good morning message with some styling as well now this will complete the creation of our adaptive card which we can actually test it out by saving the power automate so let's go ahead and save the power automate we have uh, successfully saved the power automate and now let's test it out manually since this is a scheduled flow we will run the flow 
and we can see that the power automate is now running and it has completed successfully and if we check the post adaptive card in chat or channel action we can see the row output has shown a status of 201 which indicates that it has successfully posted the message to the teams now if we look at the teams in the chat we can see that uh, it has successfully picked the banner message from SharePoint document library and it has also appended the good morning message. So this way we have successfully added an image which is hosted in SharePoint document library into the adaptive card using Power Automate and we have transferred the message uh, using a schedule flow to Microsoft Teams. Now we can also explore uh, further features of uh, adaptive cards by trying to get the image from Azure Blob Storage as well in one of our upcoming videos. So thanks everyone for watching and we will see you soon in another video.